Hey Ernie, thank you for having us on Better Horses TV today. What we want to share with you guys today is the concept of loping a small circle. So we've got a barrel setting up out here. Just to give us a visual to look at, we've actually drawn a line out here. We've loped enough circles around it, we've kind of got the line erased. But that line gives me a visual to where I can judge my distance from that barrel. So what I'm thinking about with my horse, and we'll, we'll show this just at a standstill to start, is I want my horse's body to, I'm gonna step that hip over there. I want my horse's body to be something like this all the way around this barrel to where I've got my horse's body where it's matching the arc of the circle that I've got drawn here on the ground. Okay, my horse is soft in my hands. This horse will even roll up in the bridle vertical a little bit. So what I want to figure out how to do is how could I maintain this position and be able to roll that up to a lope, okay? So it's going to start in my hands, guys. If my horse is pulling on me just in their face, just in their nose, then everything behind me is going to get stiff too. And when it comes to seat position, what I've got to make sure that I do is I sit square on my horse. I can't be sliding in here like this. I don't want to be leaning like this. When I get to a lope, I want to be sitting square on my horse so my horse can learn how to carry herself. I'll go ahead and put my dressage whip on my outside, in my outside hand. My dressage whip might help me bring a little bit of forward to the picture if my horse is struggling to maintain fluid forward motion in this smallest circle. So here's what I want. That's at a trot. We'll roll her up to a lope. And just lope a few circles here. She's drifting out a little bit there. I'm asking myself, does she feel like she's stayed rolled up in that bridle where she's still driving with her hind end? Or do I feel her just wanting to swing her hip to the outside? Because if she's swinging her hip to the outside, she's going to lose her forward drive. If that horse will think about driving with her hip, even though I've got her body bent, if she's still driving with her hip, that'll help keep her rolled up in that bridle so she can still maintain this frame at a lope. My inside rein here is going to let me encourage my horse not to drop her shoulder. Okay, and I don't have to be a barrel racer to benefit from this exercise because all this small circle does at a lope, mind you, because I can walk this circle, I can trot this circle and it feel real good, but when I get to a lope, it can all fall apart. Because when my horse gets to that speed, they tend to want to drop their shoulder and get their body straight, maybe even tip their nose to the outside, and then they're going around in a circle that small leaning in here like this. So to use this small circle at a lope just exaggerates what all five pieces are doing and whether or not I truly have control of all five pieces. So Ernie, thanks again for having us on Better Horses TV today. You guys can find out more information about our clinic schedule, about some of the stuff that we do with our horses and our videos at carrycoon.com. Thanks again, Ernie.